Hello everyone and welcome to, to this video where we are going to talk about how to feed a dairy calf. So first and foremost, the intention of feeding a dairy calf, first of all, is to ensure that the calf is healthy. And the next important thing is to ensure that it has fast growth. It grows very fast so that it starts producing milk as soon as possible. Then another important thing is to stimulate rumen development. As you know, cows have four stomachs, but when a calf is born, one of the stomach that is one of the stomach that is important for digestion, known as the rumen, is not developed yet. So you have to feed it with an intention of ensuring that the rumen develops as soon as possible. Then we are going to first talk about how to to feed a calf so from day one to day three the cow that gives birth will produce colostrum so you are supposed to feed colostrum to your dairy calf ensure that the calf consumes at least two liters of colostrum within two hours of birth ensure that then you will continuously give it colostrum for the next three days so in case the cow gives excess colostrum you can harvest it and keep it in a refrigerator so that you can give it to your dairy calf later then as from day four to the end of the first month you will feed your calf with milk or a milk replacer a milk replacer is basically you buy a powder from the supermarket or from a store which you mix with warm water to create to create a liquid that has almost the same that has the same nutrients as milk so from day 4 to day 30 you will feed your calf with milk or a milk replacer depending on on the market price for example if the market price of milk is very high you can feed it with a milk replacer so that you can have more milk to sell then from just a minute <coughs> okay from day 30 after one month up to three months you are going to continue feeding with the milk or milk replacer but you'll start to slowly introduce what is known as a calf starter a calf starter is a powdered feed that you start giving your calf in small portions from day 30 up to when you are, your calf is three months that will stimulate the growth of the rumen that we've already talked about. Then another important thing to note is that you need to make sure that your diet is rich in vitamin B since the rumen is yet to develop. Next up we are going to talk about calf feeding methods. How do you feed your calf? The first method is that you can do what is known as single sucking. You allow your calf to suckle one other. But this is not, not used in commercial, commercial dairy farms because you, are, you want to cut the connection between the calf and the cow as soon as, as, soon as possible so that even when the calf is not there, the cow can still let down milk okay then another another method that you can use to feed your your calf is using what is known as a foster mother for example if 15 cows in a commercial dairy farm give birth you can decide that all the 15 calves will be fed by one mother while the other other cows will produce milk for for sale so that's another method then we have another method that's known as bottle feeding. You feed your cow, your calf using a bottle. And then next you have what is known as nipple sucking. You attach a nipple to, to a bucket or a bottle. Then lastly, we have the bucket feeding. So we are going to talk about the last three methods together. Bottle feeding, nipple sucking, and bucket and bucket feeding when it is mostly i don't usually recommend bucket feeding 
but if you are doing bottle feeding or nipple sucking it is important that the bottle or the nipple is at a slightly higher level than the the head of the calf as you can see in the picture below so that the milk directly enters the stomach and does not go to the lungs because if it goes to the lungs it will cause what is known as pneumonia when liquids go into the into the lung of of the calf it's it will cause what is known as pneumonia and that's why i don't recommend bucket feeding as well use either a bottle or nipple and ensure that they are at a higher level than the the head of the calf so that the cow looks up as it feeds that way it won't get it won't get pneumonia next we are going to look at some of some of the some of the foods that you used to to feed your calf first the first thing you can use is colostrum i've already talked about is the milk that the cow produces for the first three days then you can also preserve colostrum to use at later dates you can preserve it in two ways you can preserve it in a refrigerator so that it maintains its initial form or you can ferment it but in case you choose to ferment it before feeding you need to mix it with warm water at a ratio of two two liters of colostrum to one liter of water you combine it with warm warm water then another thing that you can use is milk as i've already said from day four you can use milk alternatively you can use a milk replacer when the milk demand is high then milk uh -huh. then after one month you'll need to introduce a pre-starter feed or a dry feed that is low on fiber then what you need to do is you need to slowly introduce it introduce it in small bits initially the calf will 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 consume small amounts then as time goes by it will slowly increase the amount of amount of pre-starter or calf starter that it consumes then after it starts to consume about 2 kgs of pre-starter you'll know that it's now time to to win it we are going to talk about winning in the next in the next video see you in the next video thank you